everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here. I am getting so close to my goal for Christmas. My Christmas wish for 2022 is that I will hit 5,000 subscribers. And at time of taping this, I'm about 80 subscribers off. So close, so close. <laughs> Um, so I am so grateful to all of you who have newly subscribed and have heard my wish and are trying to help me get there so close. So if you can hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. I would be so grateful. We are continuing on with Collectionmas today and we're going to do my woks or wallet on chains. So I have chosen to do just my Chanel woks for this video. I do have um, wallets on chains from Louis Vuitton and Dior and Fendi as well. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, and I, in the new year, I really want to do a video around which wok. So which wallet on chain do I think is best um, and my opinions around that because I do own them from several brands. But for the purposes of Collectionmas, I am going to stick with my Chanel wallets on chain for today's video. So wallet on chain, wok. <laughs> so let's look at my um, woks in this video. So we're going to start with this one because this is my first one. Um, so this came from store in Sydney. It was my very first uh, wallet on chain. It is black with gold hardware. It is a reissue edition. So you can see it has the reissue hardware on it. It is a crinkled aged calf skin with aged gold hardware. It is a classic. I saw this um, and wanted it because it is a classic. And to be fair, this is one that I use often. So you turn the little lock on the front and open it up, which gives it um, more security than the standard closures, um, magnetic ones. And this has the reissue chain on it that we see on all reissues in age gold hardware. So Chanel wallets on chains. Big open space, this one's in beige. Um, in beige. It's in burgundy, clearly. Um, and we can see you have, sorry, let's just take this out, credit card slots at the back there. You have um, a zipper compartment across the front here. There is another pocket on the very front. There is the love letter pocket on the back. And then you have the Mona Lisa pocket on the very back of the bag. Not big enough to fit your phone, this Mona Lisa pocket, but our wallet on chain is definitely big enough to fit your phone in it. So, um... Yeah, it's, look, I think a wok is so, so underrated. I love woks. Um, I use them all the time. I love to travel with them. They make um, great versatile pieces because you can grab it as a clutch. So you take it out to dinner. They go cross body. Um, they fit your phone. They fit everything you need to carry. I always have a wallet on chain when I travel. I think they are incredibly underrated. People think they're entry level at Chanel because they are <laughs> these days about $4,000. Crazy $4,000 Australian dollars. So it's entry level at Chanel because Chanel is so expensive. But they're so so handy to have. So I love a wallet on chain and Chanel do do really good ones. So they can be worth the money. So this was the first one I got and it gets a lot of use. And then from there, I bought this one. So this is my unicorn. Not because it was hard to get, but just because it looks like a unicorn. <laughs> um, and this was supposed to come out in a classic flat, this finish. And then uh, they had production issues with it, so it never came. So I was really glad that I actually got the wallet on chain for this because, um, yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful finish. So you can see it's super iridescent and it throws lots of different colors and it's got the rainbow hardware on it, which I'm hoping you can see. Um, and the chain on this is silver so the hardware on this is silver and then the chain has the same um rainbow leather through it in silver hardware um i love that this has silver hardware outside that rainbow clasp on it uh i think it just it goes really well with this finish and this is the magnetic closure 
and you can see the inside is like this metallic silver it's so cool so i love this one um and this has still got all the credit card things in it so i haven't actually used it yet you can see all the cards are still in it um but i think it's so so pretty and this one's going nowhere i love the finish on it it's awesome so that was my second wok that I got from Chanel, also from the store in Sydney. In fact, looking at all my woks, I believe they all came from the store in Sydney. Uh, okay, the next one after that was this one. Another one that gets a lot of use by me. So um, it's pink with the camellias um, in etched into it. They're not really embossed, they're more etching. Um, it's a high shine, it is a leather, um, and it's got champagne gold hardware on it, so it's got little C's. This one came to New York with me. It gets a lot of wear. It's pink. <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> Why would it not get a lot of wear from me? Um, and because of the texture of the leather, it's super hard wearing. So like the aged calf skin, this one is also a fantastic wearable option because I don't have to be all that careful with it. Like if I spill something on it, it wipes off. Um, it's just this, this texture of the leather is like... A caviar pretty much it's super hard wearing so I love this one um, it does have the champagne gold and this one is also really beautiful because it has the camellias in the um, hardware of the chain so there's two camellias there um, and this one came to New York I wore it a lot um, I do use it a lot it's one of my it, well it probably is my favorite walk this is my favorite walk not that you should play favorites with your children, but in this case, this is my favorite walk. <laughs> um, but this color is just everything for me. So that was my next one. And then I bought this one. So this collection was 20, 21, I want to say. Oh, sorry, I'm just catching myself in my, my Merry Christmas in case you guys can't see. Merry Christmas. <laughs> my headbands um, and thank you to everyone who's been commenting on that, that you love my headpieces these are just from if you're in Australia these are just from Kmart they're like five dollars each they're not expensive um, anyway back to my walks so this one I got 2021 2020 possibly 2020 I want to say um, and it, this collection was um, so it's pink outside and then it's this super super bright yellow inside it has um, like a purple clasp on it which is crazy cool love it um but it's lambskin leather in the standard quilting so um you do have to be more careful of it than say this one over here or this one over here so yeah it is a lambskin leather but i love the pink with the yellow interior when you open up i love a lining i love it when linings are different i think that's awesome and this actually does have the rainbow hardware so if we if i can get it to show you can see the hardware there is all in different rainbow colors which is what drew me to it i just love rainbow hardware i don't know why maybe i missed out getting something when i was like five years old in a rainbow and now that's all i want to collect but if it makes you happy why not um so that was the next one that i got i then got oh, this one so this is a Chanel 19 wok. Um, so you can see the hardware has the Chanel 19 hardware on it. We have the age gold hardware there. And then if I take the rest of the hardware out. Oops, uh -oh. there we go. It has the two tone, it has the toned hardware. So there's a shiny silver there. There's an age silver there. And it does go cross body. Um, I love the colors on this. I thought it was really cool with the graffiti pattern. It's a fabric. It's not a leather. Um, so you do have to be a little bit careful with it because it is a fabric. Uh, no Mona Lisa pocket on this one. And another one I haven't used because all the credit card things are still in there. But look at that lining. Look at how pink it is. I love it. Um... So yeah, so this is a Chanel 19 one. So I've got the standard ones. I've got a reissue. I've got a Chanel 19. Uh, do they do a trendy? Why do I feel like they do a trendy walk now too? Somebody tell me in the comments below if you know the answer to that, if there's a trendy walk as well now. Um, and am I missing any others? A boy. I think they do a boy walk as well. So I don't have them all. 
um, but I've got a few, <laughs> got a few. Um, but this one's super cool. I do like this one has the little top handle as well, like the Chanel 19s, because it gives you three ways to wear it. You can wear it as a clutch, you can wear it as a top handle, or you can wear it as a crossbody if you so choose. Um, but this was really cool with all the graffiti pattern. And I got this one after that. White. <clears throat> Iridescent white. Whiter than white. So white. <laughs> Um, so if you look at it, it throws this iridescent white color and it's got silver hardware on it and I love it and I never wear it because <laughs> I am so scared of this color. Um, it has silver hardware, like I said, and then it's got this bow detail in the chain as well. I adore it. I think it is so pretty and so cute. And they made the bow so it sits exactly here when you wear it across body. It is beyond stunning. And I am so scared to use it because it is so white. So I think I'm just going to have to get over my fear on that. Um, because I'm not generally someone who is super careful with their bags. Those of you who watch my channel regularly know that. I'm generally like, a, oh, I bought it. I'll use it. I don't care. Um, well, not that I don't care, but I'm just not super precious about it. But with this one, I have been so careful because it is just so, so stunningly beautiful. And I know as soon as I get a mark on it, it's going to lose some of the shine off it because it will have a mark on it. And I just love it while it's pristine. So time to get over it. Meredith 2023. We're using this bag. Stay tuned. <laughs> And then the last one that I got was just before I went to New York because I actually thought I was going to take this to New York with me and I didn't end up taking it. I took the, the pink camellias instead. Um, and this is just a red um, in the caviar leather because caviar wears so well. Um, in my opinion, caviar is the hardest wearing uh, leather that Chanel do. And I love it. So I bought it because it is red. It gave a bit of color. Um, and Chanel do do beautiful reds. Reds and pinks, they do fantastic shades. Um, so I wanted a caviar leather one to take with me to New York. And in the end, I ended up taking my pink one and I didn't take the red one. But still a fantastic, fantastic bag. It has champagne gold for hardware. Has not been used yet. So it's still got all the cards in it. But you can see the chains, champagne gold. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful walk. So yeah, love this one as well. It's not going anywhere. I just haven't had a chance to use it yet. Christmas, why not? Red. Maybe I'll take it out with me to a Christmas party because hey, red walk at a Christmas party, always handy. Um, so there are all my walks. So let's just fix that. There we go. So I don't have a huge collection compared to some of my other collections. It's quite small, obviously, but still most people will go, why do you need more than one wok? One or two woks is more than enough. Correct. This is correct. But they are something I collect. So I do keep an eye out for new colors as they come in. Um, my sales associate Chanel knows I love woks. Um, and as great colors come in, she sends me po photos and I'm not done with the woks yet. I will absolutely collect more woks. So I think I've got seven, three, four, five, six, seven, seven woks in total, which isn't a bad collection for anyone really. Um, and I love all of mine. So yeah, I think if you're after, um, an easy hands-free bag um, and you desperately want something from Chanel and you're okay to spend that kind of money then the Chanel wok really is a fantastic option for you um, and I'm absolutely going to collect more. If you have liked today's video I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and hit that little bell notification. Collection Miss still has many more days to go guys. I don't even think we're halfway through yet. There are lots more collections coming, so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you've hit that little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos. Everything's going to a playlist um, around my collection, so if you think you might have missed a day or two, go check out the playlist. They are all there for you. Um, I hope you'll come follow me over on Instagram. I'll throw up my handle for you. I put lots up in real time over there, lots around my collection and things that sales associates send me, so please come follow me over on Instagram. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.